Good afternoon. Welcome to our KRQE.com webcast. I'm Deanna Sassetta. We begin with meteorologist John Smith in the forecast. Hi, John. Hi, Deanna. We'll look for showers and storms once again this afternoon, and we will once again favor the central mountain chain points west of there for the most shower activity through the afternoon. Could get a couple of spot showers in the eastern part of the state, but they will stay mainly dry and hot throughout the afternoon, and we'll continue with that chance through Friday as well. But then moving into the weekend, that area of high pressure will start to slide back toward the state, and we won't cut off the shower chances altogether, but we will cut off that southerly flow. So we'll be left to recycle moisture, relegate the storm chances mainly toward the higher terrain and we'll see fewer and fewer chances of storms throughout the weekend as we start to warm the temperatures back up. Thanks, John. The case is now closed on what started the Romero fire. Corrales police tell us the blaze was started by an electronic cigarette dropped into some dry brush. The official cause is human, but it's also accidental, so police say they will not pursue any charges. The more than 350-acre fire in Corrales' Bosque burned on both sides of the Rio Grande and was part of the reason the Bosque is now closed in three counties. A woman awaiting release from the Santa Fe County Jail was found dead in her cell. Authorities say 33-year-old Eosemia Rodriguez was found unresponsive and not breathing when they went to release her on battery charges yesterday morning. Authorities do not suspect foul play, but an autopsy is being performed to determine the exact cause of death. We'll stay with KRQE for more news and weather updates throughout the day. Have a great day, and we'll see you later.